Alrighty then, Xbox fans, this is Crazy Walder, and in today's news, we're going to be going over something that's really, really awesome. So, recently, as recently as March 16th, supposedly, the uh, guy named Kikuli, or I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, uh, ended up basically doing a Interposer mod, which allows the Xbox, original Xbox, I should say, to run a 1.4 GHz processor. Now, technically this is nothing new since we've had the likes of the trusty Xbox way back when, which allowed you to do something like this, you know, fairly easily, albeit with some serious soldering experience to get your Xbox to instead of run, running a 733 MHz processor, running a 1.4 GHz processor, which obviously sped a lot of things up. Now, you might be wondering, you know, well, okay, if these Xboxes exist, why not just buy those that already exist with that mod done? Why not just go ahead and um, have these kind of shipped to your house, etc., find them on eBay? And the answer is because, you know, one of the original kind of uh, makers of this was DreamX and FriendTech specifically. And uh, these Xboxes now are incredibly rare, as are the trusty Xboxes. There's also news that Trusty, who himself used to do the mods, is no longer doing the 1.4 GHz mods. Now, there is a guy um, who goes by the name of N64Freak, um, who will still do these on some of the forums, but he no longer does the 1.4 GHz processors. Currently, he only does the 1 GHz processors. Now, as far as, you know, all of you guys are concerned, you might be thinking, well, why the heck do I want this anyway? If it's so rare, it must be expensive, right? And the answer is it absolutely is expensive, but there are reasons why you want to do this. And one of the, you know, biggest reasons is that the original Xbox, you know, was not particularly powerful and you really couldn't do a whole lot with it beyond, you know, just you in regular gaming. Of course, a lot of folks have turned them into coin ops machines, arcade machines, etc and specifically to play, you know, retro games over emulators because there's a pretty serious emulating community for the original Xbox. And when you do this upgrade combined with the 128 megabyte memory upgrade uh, within the Xbox to bring it up to sort of dev kit specs, you're able to do a heck of a lot more with the console. And specifically for those of you folks who do happen to run coin ops or do happen to run, you know, arcades or emulators, um, etc. on your Xbox or just want better video playback, if you're still using it as a media center, this is absolutely a must-have mod. And now that this is actually out, you're no longer having to resort to looking for one of these friend tech or trusty or N64 uh, freak Xboxes, which cost a pretty penny, you know, ranging anywhere from about $250 for the N64 freak conversion, um, all the way up to potentially into the thousands for some of these trusty or DreamX, you know, machines, which of course nowadays fetch a pretty penny, not only because they're rare collector's items, but also ultimately because, of course, they do have, you know, the ability to be converted into really potent dev kits to be able to poke around in various games that have SDKs, etc., um, especially if you're able to, you know, use something like Xbox Neighborhood uh, with modified, um, you know, and flashed BIOS, etc., it allows you to do quite a bit of stuff. Now, for those of you who are just average Xbox fans, you might be wondering to yourselves, well, do I really care about this if I'm not really doing a whole lot with, you know, emulators on my Xbox or if I'm not really using it as a media console, you know, does this actually really make sense for me? Do I want to pay a whole lot of money for this? And the answer is it honestly kind of depends. For me, personally being a huge Xbox fan, uh, with the ability to run certain games at a higher frequency, um, especially with certain patches that have been released for the XBEs out there, um, that allows you to actually have a fairly good um, platform to launch off of for either playing betas that were released a while back or just running your favorite games with better frame rates, etc. Now, not all games work like this, but there are quite a few that do actually benefit from this processor upgrade. And the best part is that you don't even have to change the power supply in your Xbox to be able to run this. So assuming that you can get these soldered into your uh, motherboard in the first place, you've got a pretty serious upgrade path there. Um, and again, if you're able to go with the 128 meg upgrade for the memory, that makes your Xbox a pretty powerful machine overall. Obviously nothing by today's standards, but nonetheless, it does make for a pretty fun machine. And considering that this is now progressing, and I've actually asked the creator of this mod um, where we are currently on this situation, because it's certainly very exciting to be able to finally mod Xboxes to 1.4 gigahertz again, and one of the biggest things that we've heard so far is that he's completed the design, double-checked it, and there's a test batch currently in production. 
Now, this is great news, but of course it does not mean that we're necessarily going to get these right away. Um, one of the kind of biggest issues with this, of course, is that, you know, unfortunately, because it is such a complex, you know, piece of hardware, it will cost quite a bit of money. And unfortunately, also, um, it will require a BGA rework station, um, potentially also a reflow oven to make this work, which means if you're going to be doing this mod, um, it's probably just a lot cheaper to buy this specific interposer board, uh, buy the CPU, and then basically from there have a professional soldering shop finish the job for you. I don't even trust my own soldering skills, nor do I have the hardware to do this. But however, again, with this said, you know, I think that if we get enough people on this project early on, if we get enough people supporting this, um, enough in the Xbox and CoinOps community to kind of go forward with this sort of project, we're going to be able to get these pieces down to about 70 uh, bucks a pop for the interposer board, um, which means that uh, this will be pretty affordable really, but that'll require at least 500 people to kind of put their money down on this project initially so that we can start kind of utilizing economies of scale. Now. If you're wondering how much does a processor for this cost, one of those Pentium 3 1.4 GHz processors on eBay nowadays ranges anywhere from between you know 15 to about 50 bucks, uh, depending on where you go. Um, you may even be able to find them on AliExpress or Alibaba a little bit cheaper. So again, you know when you consider if we get enough people on this early enough, so that we are able to push in you know into that 500 mark, then we're going to have this for 70 bucks plus let's say 30. So for 100 dollars. You've got yourself a 1.4 um, gigahertz setup, and then let's say you know another you know 50, 60 dollars to have somebody um, do a BGA rework on the Xbox, desolder the stock CPU, and put this interposer board in, and for you know almost 200 bucks, you've got yourself this whole system going. Now, obviously, you might be thinking, well, at that point, don't I just want to pay um, somebody like N64 freak? And the answer is. You know, it honestly depends, you know, it, it's up to you if you want to go that route. But again, with N64 Freak, just doing that particular mod, you're only going to have a 1 GHz processor currently. Now, you might be able to talk them into doing a 1.4 GHz mod for you. But again, it's not actually going to be as good of a mod as this, um, specifically because this actually will be soldered directly um, onto the slot where the CPU used to go. Uh, versus using basically a socket adapter, which is basically the way that I've at least heard the N64 Freak boxes have been done. Don't quote me on this, but supposedly this particular method is a little bit more secure and more reliable over time. So this is of course absolutely fantastic. This is a huge thing for the Xbox community if we're able to actually get this going. As you can see currently the project is at 25% of its goal, so we're nowhere near close to you know being done with this so of course you know go ahead and you know subscribe to this project go ahead and give this guy some money to help uh, move the project along ultimately the more you know of us end up putting money down on this the more and sooner um, of these units we'll have in the market and the more xboxes are going to be able to be upgraded with an amazing processor which we can then use for some incredible things that you know potentially haven't been done on the xbox before at least not at a scale um, that is currently possible so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video um, go ahead and give this link a shot i'm going to put it in the video description below uh, ultimately if you like the video go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel it always helps me out and i'll see you folks in the next video